Good morning, everyone. I am out for my morning walk. Let's see what's going on here. We got the police over here. They were taking a photo of this vehicle right here that's parked up on the sidewalk. I don't know what's going on. Uh, anyways, we're going to, you know what? I get done eating and uh, just do a little walk around, walk off my breakfast, a little exercise. Just going to head up Perimeter Road. It's been a while since I've walked up this way. I know it's the same same scenery we'll see if anything changes uh, you got the abc hotel here on the left never step foot in the abc hotel never never went up to the aqua bar i don't know i guess when you live here uh, you just you just don't go to these places right they do have a nice aqua bar up top i've seen videos and pictures of it. It does look nice. Speaking of breakfast, uh, you guys ever go out to eat somewhere and uh, you get a little bit of food falls in your lap or falls on your shirt, sort of like if you bite into a hamburger and the ketchup or the mustard squirts out all over your shirt. And you're sitting there, you feel like you're a slob because you got food all over you. Well, that's what happened to me this morning, man. I bit into a egg sandwich and the juice is just shot out all over. Onto my pants, onto my shirt. I felt like a slob. You guys know what that's like. Uh, brass knob. It's like they're doing some remodeling out here. You know, this is their breakfast area here. We're, well, it's part of their outside dining area. It looks like they're doing some type of remodeling here. Are they open? I don't even know if they're open. That guy came out the door. I would imagine they're still open. They do have inside dining. Guys, hey, check it out. You know, the big building they've been building for the past one million years here. <laughs> starting to look like something. It's starting to finally look like something. Italian place. Ah, nice, nice little breeze this morning. This little grocery store here on the left seems to be doing okay. They're still in business, so I guess that's the most important thing, right? That was once a that was once a uh, a gentleman's club that was. Oh yeah, yeah. You want to you want to give a shout out? We have a YouTube channel. Like yes, yes. It. Yeah. Yeah. You want to give a shout out? Yeah, a shout out to my family and my lovers. Hello. Hi, buddy. <laughs> uh, it was once a gentleman's club that was converted into that store, so. Morning. Good morning. My barber up here on the left. Fruits. This place is always has done well. All right, there's my barber. I gotta stop here for a second. All right, I had to stop in and say hello. This place here is closed. Hotel for lease, 23 rooms. This place smooth. We moved to Fields Avenue beside JJ Supermarket. Thank you. All right. They say put signs up to their customers. A massage place appears to be open. Fields Laundry Service and B-Way Travel. Their doors are closed. Whether or not they are in business or out of business, I don't know. Could be, well, this 10 o'clock, they're usually open. 
this here on the left has been like this ever since I've been coming here. Just an open, empty lot. Private property, no trespassing. And then you got the uh, Hotel America. Still closed. Nothing going on in there. Emotions and the touch of class is open. That's a shame about America Hotel. Well, it's a shame with all the hotels now. Sitting empty and vacant. Not all of them. There are a handful that are a handful that are open. Uh, but Hotel America, I was it's like one of the first hotels I stayed in when I came up here. I first started traveling over here to the Philippines and in this area. They say it's haunted. They say it's haunted. The story goes. Now, this is a story I was told. There could be other people with other stories. But I was told a female was... Her life was snuffed out. And she was stuffed under one of the beds in here. And they say her spirit roams around the hotel. That's the story I was told. There may be other stories, who knows, right? A ghost story is only as good as the storyteller telling the story. Right in front of that Jeep, man. So now it looks like they're parking all these white Hensonville Jeepneys up here now. This is supposed to be the new staging area for the Jeepneys. That's pretty cool looking front end on that Jeep, man. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I like that. Hey, Blackie. Hey, hello. Hotel Eurasia. That is open. The lights are on. used to be they moved they moved multiple times the last time i was aware of the pie lady she was back there to the left in one of those buildings but that's gone now she's gone jb sports and restaurant there's no action going on right now is it open in the evening i couldn't tell you because they don't come up this way in the evening and here's your little nursery area. I used to walk back and forth on this road every morning. If you guys remember when we lived up in this area, every morning Lut and I would come out and we would walk this area up and down this road every day, walk down to Astro Park, do a little walk around Astro Park and walk back home. And up here, let me see. Oh, let me show you this here. You can see progress. Progress. Here on the left is the Lewis Grand Hotel. From my understanding, it is still closed. Closed uh, during the, or the close right at the pandemic, the beginning and have yet to open up as far as I know Lewis Grand Hotel never went in there I've had friends that have stayed there they say it's nice but you can see it's parking lots empty there's a few vehicles in there could be maintenance could be security but their doors are closed all right we are up the road up near the 
what they call the perimeter bars. Figure we come up here. Figured I'd come up here and uh, see what else is going on up this way. We got Puzzles Cafe right there on straight ahead. Great place to eat. You can finally now turn off the road and head down that road because the bridge is finally open. If you've seen my older or my other videos this past week, the bridge is open. The Malibanyas Bridge. Core Virtual Mall. And you got night moves here on the left hand side. Morning. There's a diner. A little diner there. Night moves. Star bar. Star bar. Deep five. Candy bar on the left. Huh. Looks like they're doing renovation in there. Liquor band, August 10th, 2021, two question mark. Nobody knows. And as far as I know, there still is a liquor ban on paper. Morning. Highway 54. D bar. The Steel Man Entertainment. Hosting Comedy Bar. Lee Chamanook and Lee Empo. Says it's for sale. Little stands for sale. The Drill Shack. You gotta love the names of some of these bars. They were even. They were even crazier years ago. I've seen photos of some of the names of some of these bars. <laughs> Hilarious. Well, I would say they <coughs> not necessarily hilarious, but very, um, how do you say it? Very colorful, very colorful. Garfield's last stand here on the corner. And that is about it. I'm not going to keep walking down that way. I am going to turn around and I'm going to head back to see my barber. Hello. <laughs> and uh, get some of this trimmed up. Uh, so anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the little walk. Like I said, if I eat an area, I'm going to walk around in the area. And this is my morning walk. So with that being said, take care of yourself. Take care of each other, the sick, the elderly, the young, if you have pets. Take care of your pets and we'll talk to you later.